I was also in Seattle with him when he got released on his last day of spring training. We had to track his father, who was driving his truck from Florida. Hey, Trey, Tracy, you might want to mute yourself. All right, guys, we got Coach here. I'll let him go ahead and get started. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, great to see you again. And, uh, you know, we are certainly excited about the fact we're 4-0. Sometimes you get in the midst of your season, and our mantra has been taking one game at a time. Uh, I, I will admit that I started to scratch my head. I know we had not been 4-0 since I've been our head coach. And I looked back through the records, and I – I found it was quite some time until we were 4-0. So, you know, I think that's a heck of an accomplishment by this football team. However, that needs to be framed. Uh, this football team can play a whole lot better than what it did. <clears throat> I would like to say I think, uh, the, you know, the Connecticut Huskies played their best game. Uh, they played hard. They've got some good players. Uh, certainly we gave them some, I guess, uh, lifelines of hope certainly the you know between the opening kickoff and the double reverse pass it went for a touchdown and then you know the other thing that we did we kept on putting the game in jeopardy by the number of penalties who we had we got to clean all those things up so uh, the encouraging thing is is we won a game on the road 
Uh, we are 4-0. Um, you know, I think we've, we've we, I don't want to say dodged some bullets, but we certainly won in an unconventional way. It, ha however, has been my experience in the past. The special years sometimes are, are made up of some of those games that you win in an unconventional way. Uh, we've had a lot of close games. And, um, <clears throat> you know, so uh, a lot for us to play for. Uh, we're going to take advantage of this bye week by getting a little bit healthy. Uh, certainly we're going to spend a great deal of time working on uh, the Air Force Falcons. They've got a great football program. We'll be playing them in Colorado Springs. And we need to stay focused and then work on getting ourselves to 1-0 and as we go through this. So, uh, heck of a win, uh, and not to minimize the fact we are 4-0. and I think when you do something uh, that hadn't been done in 25 years, we need to acknowledge that. But not to have rose-colored glasses on to think that we've just arrived and we're playing, I think, really complete great football. I think there's a lot of good football out there for this football team. Uh, I think at times we've shown that, but we certainly didn't uh, in the ball game against Connecticut. So questions at this time. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, another strong day for the running game on Saturday. Um, I, I guess, you know, what's your evaluation of the running back position at the bye week? And, you know, how much is uh, how well Titus Swin's been playing allowed uh, Valade to kind of stay fresh? Well, that one-two punch has really had a big, big impact for us. And I thought uh, you saw the offensive line really become dominant, at, <clears throat> you know, in the, in the second half, particularly the, the last quarter. And uh, those are things that we need to rely on more. Uh, to have a one-two punch like that is very, very helpful. While <clears throat> those two guys are somewhat similar in stature, their running styles are different, and that's always a challenge as an old defensive coordinator when you have a different running back. Sometimes he sees a field a little bit differently, and you get in your you know in a rhythm on defense, and all of a sudden you've got a guy that his cuts are a little bit different. Both of them are explosive. Uh, we have some weapons on offense, and it's been great to see that, that tandem certainly help our football team win. Josh, go ahead. Um, you know, yeah, just with the bye week, you know, coming off of four straight games and then a month of fall camp before that, uh, you know, how do you uh, find the balance between resting guys up and kind of improving things and looking ahead to Air Force? There's always a, you know, kind of a measured decision you make as a head coach, what you do this, this bye week, everybody asks, are you happy with how it came about? Yeah. I mean, we've, we have some guys who have been playing. I know Eric Abogier finished the game, but he's been getting stingers. You have a lot of guys who, you know, they're banged up. However, they've been playing. Um, we'll, we'll uh, spend a, a good portion of this week in practice. We, we probably won't have, you know, as many uh, minutes on the field as what we normally would have on a bye week. But it, it'll be an important week for us. And so we'll strike a balance. There's going to be certain guys that we back off on, on the number of repetitions that they give. We look at GPS, yardage chips, practice load, all those things. And then I take a look at, you know, just how I see our freshness of a football team. So we need to we need to utilize that, <clears throat> but this Air Force team is going to give us, you know, a big, big challenge. Keith, go ahead. Coach, have you had a chance? I know you've been busy with your team, but just to kind of see what's been going on around the Mount West, uh, or will you kind of maybe even look at that a little bit more with, with this bye week, or is it just so much focused on you guys right now? Well, it's a, you know, I, as a coach, you always kind of look at what your what your competition's doing. You have a baseline. I certainly haven't dug in to see okay how, you know, what the tape of San Jose looks like or what the tape of New Mexico looks like. But you follow the scores and you know the competitive games that we're in. I can tell you this: so the price of poker is up. Our non-conference schedule is behind. We play in a great conference with really good players and really good coaches, and so. Um, I'm mindful of, of our league, um, but more than anything else, we, we need to strike a right balance of, you know, what we do this week as far as getting ready, how much time to spend on the practice field, what we got to do to get ready for Air Force. Also, I do look around the country. I know, you know, a lot of people had talked about our game being a close ball game, and, you know, a lot of people had predicted it wouldn't be close, but I think there's some other schools out there that would gladly trade places. 
uh, with us who had a game like that, and uh, they didn't come up with a W. And so a little bit in the rearview mirror, uh, more than anything else, focus on our team and uh, our players. Josh, go ahead. Coach, uh, UConn was the first team to kind of slow down Chad Muma a little bit. How much did it look like their uh, game plan was focused around containing him? And is that something that you guys are planning to account for down the road this season? Well, you can, you can, uh, you know, strategize an offense and, and put guys in different positions to have an impact. And what it does do it, it uh, forces the other players to make some plays. I do know, I did talk to Noel Mazzoni before the game. Uh, he had, you know, great comments to say about uh, Chad. They brought him in as an analyst. He can't call plays. He can't have uh, interaction with uh, with the uh, players. However, he can set a game plan in a meeting, and I'm sure they had a plan. So it wasn't had, it didn't have anything to do with Chad not one to play hard. They could get different formations and sets to neutralize him a little bit, but they gave some of our other players an opportunity to play. You know, I thought Easton Gibbs played one of his best games with the exception of the one bust. So <clears throat> we'll take it from there. Tracy, do you have a question? Coach, Air Force has a little bit different style than most teams. Does that help you to have some time off, extra time to get ready for them? Well, that I, I think so. Um, you know, when you say different style, it's, significantly different on both sides of the football. Uh, you know, a great deal of respect uh, for Coach Calhoun um, and how they utilize their players, their players. They have a large squad and they have all kinds of different elements within their offense, defense, and the kicking game. And so you can prepare <clears throat> what's always a challenge. So Tracy is, you know, getting a scout team to replicate uh, the speed and the technique and the accuracy of, of uh, what Air Force does. Uh, but certainly having some extra practice time is going to be something we'll take advantage of. David, do you have a question? Okay, go ahead, Josh. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned the uh, 4 no start earlier. Just, uh, you know, what's the thing that's impressed you the most on both sides of the ball through four weeks? I would say that uh, the team believes that uh, they'll find a way to win, and that's a, a coaching phrase that I think – some people may say gets overused, but the resiliency and the closeness of this football team really is an X factor. Uh, somewhere during the course of the game, somebody's going to come up with a play, whether it's a, you know, an interception like Isaiah Scandi or Chad Muma or a big catch uh, like Isaiah Nair or a, a run that Sean Chamber does or a, an offensive lineman blocking or, you know, maybe a punt that Ralph does. Everybody seemed to be pitching in to contribute to this 4-0 start. Tracy, do you got another question? Josh, you got one? All right. Okay, guys, thanks a lot.
Casey, you are good. Josh, you guys there? Yeah, we're here. Okay, perfect. Uh, Parker's going to start off, so Josh, why don't you go ahead and start yeah, off? Yeah, so Park, <coughs> Parker, I guess, um, you know, just looking back at the first, uh, you know, month of the season, what's uh, the thing that's impressed you the most about the offense so far? Um, you know, just uh, our versatility, I think. Um, you know, we have a lot of weapons on our offense, and I think that we've, um, Coach Balasek and our offensive staff has done a better job of just, you know, um, utilizing more of our, like everybody, and we're getting a lot more involved in the pass game, which I think has helped us a lot. I know one of the things that Coach Polisek's done a lot of is a lot of motions and kind of moving guys around, you know, multiple times before the play. Um, for you guys, how much does that kind of open up opportunities for you, whether it's blocking or maybe finding holes in coverage? Uh, you know, it helps a lot just being able to move around and, you know, uh, keep the defense on their toes and, you know, seeing how they shift and everything to stuff, especially, you know, our tight ends and fullbacks were moving around a lot all the time. So I think it really does help open up, you know, especially in the past games, just opens up holes in our reads and everything. Josh, Tracy, you got a question? Josh, you got any more? Yeah, um, you know, I guess, um, you know, for you, have you ever been a part of a team that's had this many close games in the first month of a season? Um, you know, I, I really haven't. Um, you know, it, it's been a good experience, I guess. Um, you know, it just shows to get, it just shows that our team, you know, we're really resilient and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to fight till the end. But, um, you know, I really haven't been on a team where we've been in this many close games right away. And, you know, Titus uh, Swins had a couple of really big performances for you guys so far. Um, you know, what what have you seen from him? Maybe any any growth in his game in specific areas? Uh, you know, he he's a freak athlete. That guy is – he's very explosive. And, you know, he's a great teammate. And, uh, you know, just – I think his maturity and just uh, with football, he's been really – he's been able to, you know, show how explosive he is on the field, which has been really good. Keith, you got a question or anybody else got a question? I do, yeah. Parker, kind of going back to what uh, Josh said uh, a couple questions ago with uh, the close games, how much confidence do you guys now have in the fourth quarter if it's a one possession game or something like that going down the stretch that you're going to go down and score? You know, these close games really have helped with our offense and our confidence and late in the fourth quarters like that. Um, you know, we – I do feel that our offense is confident that we can go down and score whenever it's um, late in the quarter like that. So I think that these close games really have helped in that aspect. Tracy, go ahead. Parker, how, during this, this time off now, though, I mean, the close games may have helped, but they have to be a little frustrating at times, too. Is there anything that you guys can work on to try to uh, open things up earlier for yourselves? Um, you know, we're, we're probably gonna, we're going to take this bye week and uh, we're going to work on some things. Um, just being able to start off fast. You know, we, we were able to start off fast in NIU, but, um, you know, we, we've been a little bit inconsistent with that. So I think just being able to, you know, come out guns blazing and start off fast will be a really big emphasis. Thank you. Josh, you got any more, Keith? All right. We're good. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thanks, Parker. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Cole's here as well. Josh, why don't you go ahead and get us started? Hey, Cole. Um, you know, Easton Gibbs has been playing a big role for you guys this season. Uh, you know, what's the biggest thing you've seen from him as far as biggest uh, area of growth this year for him? Um, honestly, I think his leadership ever since Chuck left, I think he's really s stepped up and, you know, filled that, that starting role at will really well. And honestly, I think he's going to only improve on what he's been doing. And what were your uh, just overall thoughts on the defense's performance last week? I know it's kind of a rough start and there were some penalties, but it seemed like over those last three quarters, y'all really kind of took control on that side of the ball. Yeah, I think, um, I think Early penalties kind of maybe got in our head a little bit, but I think uh, we just kind of stuck with it, you know, played our game how we've been playing. And I think that's just going to be what we're going to do throughout the season. 
do you think the bye week's kind of arriving at the the perfect time for you guys with maybe a few guys a little dinged up and then coming off of a full month of fall camp and four straight weeks to start the season? Yeah, I think it's I think it's come at a really good time. I think, you know, starting conference off this uh this next upcoming week, I think it's a good time for us to, you know, get some of our legs back, get some of our, you know, injured guys some rest time and I think we're gonna come back strong. Tracy, go ahead. You know, I, I know with all the the veteran type players who came back this year, uh, there was a lot of feeling about how strong, say, the defense would be. But do you think, in some ways, it's taken an adjustment period because so many of you got so many of the guys on defense didn't play last year that it might have been more of an adjustment period than people originally thought. Um, I think. I think it, uh, that kind of was blown over a little bit. I think some of the guys that didn't play um, kind of got those got their legs back in fall camp, and I think they're just kind of honestly getting back to full strength and where they were at the previous year. Keith, you got a question? Yeah, Cole, where do you want to see this defense uh, get better um, as you head into conference play? Um, um, I think we can, uh, do, uh, I think we've done a pretty good job overall. I think, you know, there's some, there's some runs, some run scheme, maybe some outside run things that we can do better and just maybe set an edge better and just forcing that inside. But as of that, I think maybe some long ball things we could do better, but I think overall we've done a pretty solid job. Josh, you got another question? What about you, Tracy? Keith, you good? I'm good, thanks. All right. All thanks, right. Cole. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll call cool. you, Vince. Yeah, no Thank problem. you. Thanks.